Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video here in with Jolster. That's me. <laughs> hey guys. Well, I just wanted to talk really quick about a subject that is being really confusing. And even though I have done this before, I haven't done a much of uh, an explanation of why you should choose RGB. Well, this is why I use RGB instead of YUB420. Now, uh, before I, I continue, I just wanna say that this is running on a Samsung KS8500 series TV, which is the same as the 8000 series or the 9000 series. This is a uh, 4K TV with a certified HDR10 uh, capabilities. Now, I'm also running on my PlayStation 4 Pro. And the reason I'm explaining this is because there's a lot of confusion confusion whether which option you should get, which is the YUB420 or the 2160 RGB. Now, a lot of people also choose automatic, which is pretty much the same. And I will, I will explain all this to you right now and I will prove to you why automatic or 2160 RGB is the best option that you can get. Now, in order for you to get the RGB uh, option, you have to activate the Ultra HD colors from your Samsung TV or from your TV, whether you have a Samsung Samsung or LG or a Sony, it doesn't matter. You got to go to pictures and I've, I've shown this before, but I just want to show this again to people who are new to this channel and who you haven't seen this. So you go to this option here, HDMI UHD colors, and you activate the ones that you're using. You don't have to activate all of them, all right? So this is on, this is on my Xbox One S, and this number two is on my PS4 Pro, all right? So once you activate this, you'll have this option, this RGB. Now, in simple words, RGB means that you are getting the purest, the best picture quality. This is for the chroma subsampling of 444, which means that you're getting the best out of the best on 4K. Now, people are saying that this is the best when you're using HDR, and not really. I will show you to you right now. So, if you're using HDR, well, I'll show you right now. If you're using HDR, what happens is like, there is more information coming through. So your PlayStation can't, well, you know, actually, as a matter of fact, not the PlayStation. It's pretty much the HDMI 2.0. It's limited to a certain amount of information to process. All right. So what happens is like it'll, it'll downscale to YUB422, which is one level before uh, the uh, chroma subsampling of 444. Now remember, this is only changing when you're playing a, a game that has HDR. In this case, I am playing The Last of Us and I have it here activated HDR. That's why it just changed, automatically changes to the best option. Your PlayStation does that. All right, so I'll prove it to you how it will change back when I turn off HDR. Watch. So we're gonna change this. Don't mind that right now. <laughs> all right, so this is HDR off. I just turned it off, all right? Let me go back to the settings and I'll show you how this will change again to RGB. All right now, remember RGB is the best for 4K, not HDR, just 4K. There he goes, color format, RGB. HDR on your TV, 2K, 4K is supported with HDCP 2.2, all right? So now, even if it's not an automatic, it automatically changes to the best possible format, you know, which in this case is RGB, you see? Now, let me go back to The Last of Us and I will turn this on again. And I will show you again how automatically changes to YUB422. There you go, uh, YUB422. And the reason is, like I said before, is limited to the HDMI 2.0. Even though 
this 2.0 is the latest HDMI uh, capabilities that we have. Uh, is still not able to process all that information. So it has to downsample it to uh, YUB or the sub chroma sampling of 422, which is not bad. You know, it's not bad. It's not as bad as a 2.0 or 2420, I'm sorry. All right. So this happens the same if you use automatic. It will be the same deal as if you use RGB. Nothing changes. But check what happens when I change it to YUV420. Now, YUV420 will remain as that, you know? Remember, this is the lowest subsampling, chroma subsampling you can have, which means you're not gonna get the best out of it. The best is 444. Four, four. All right, so let's go back to The Last of Us Remastered. Now, remember, this is with HDR TV on. It didn't even upskill to YUV 422. It remained on 420. Now, even if we turn it off, it doesn't even change back to RGB, which, like I said, RGB is the best option if you are not using HDR. You see? You see? Right here, it remained the same. It's still the same. It doesn't make any changes or anything. It will remain the same. So, what I'm saying is that YUV420 is... It's pretty much you're not getting the best out of it. If you want to get the best out of it, I recommend you to get 2160 RGB or automatic. Simple as that. Now let's go back to here and it will be to RGB. Check it out. There you go. Why is that? Because this is, I just turned off HDR on The Last of Us. Remember? I turned it off. Now let's turn it back on. Let's go back to the settings. It should be YUV422. There you have it. So, in other words, if you want to get the best out of your PlayStation 4 Pro and out of your 4K TV with HDR, you should use this one, automatic or 2160 RGB automatically changes to whatever format you're using. And that's it guys. Now, if you want to understand a little bit more of the chroma subsampling and what is 444 and what is 422 and what is 420, I will leave a video link on the description. And this guy, he's, he's very nerdy, but he's really good at this. And he will explain it right there on his video. He's pretty good. So check that out if you want to get more information about that. But like, you know, my videos are pretty much direct and easy to understand. Just use that one, those settings, and that's it. You're good to go. All right, guys, that's it for me right now. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and there will be more. All right, guys, I'll see you guys on the next one. Jolster out.